Okay, so we're given another situation here. We're given the transition diagram and showing the probabilities of different weather outcomes, whether it's cloudy, sunny, or rainy. Explain in words of the 0 0.5 what this particular value here refers to. Well, I know, I know the arrow is going this way. So if it is sunny today, the probability that tomorrow will be cloudy is 0 0.15. So basically it's saying the probability of cloudy given that it is sunny is equal to 0 0.15. That's what that means. In words, if I write it up like this, I could say 0 0.15, if it is sunny today, the probability of it being cloudy tomorrow. Okay, so now I want to go and create T, a 3 by, th three, by 3 transition matrix. And so my transition matrix refers to, I have the current state, and I'm going to go from sunny to cloudy to rainy. And then I know this is the future. And this is sunny to cloudy to rainy. And when I do that, I know that sunny to sunny is 0 0.8, sunny to cloudy is 0 0.15, and sunny to rainy is 0 0.05. And I should always do a double check that every column adds up to 1, and that's the case here. Moving on to cloudy, cloudy becomes sunny 20% of the time. It remains cloudy 0.5% of the time, and it becomes rainy 0.3% of the time, or 30% of the time. Uh, and again, checking it up, it adds up to 1. Rainy is, rainy change in the sunny happens 0.2 or 20%. Rainy to cloudy is also 0.2 or 20%. And rainy onto itself is 0 0.6. And so this is equal to my transition matrix T. So if it was sunny today, determine the probability that will be rainy in four days. Well, there's lots of ways that this can happen. And if I add them all up, the easiest way to do it, though, is with finding the fourth day on my transition matrix. That is the easiest way to find it. And I'm going to have it sunny today, so I'm going to take T4, whatever T4 is, and I'm going to multiply T4 by a 3 by 1 matrix. This is the sunny column. It's sunny today, not and not. If I multiply those, I will get a single column that will show me specifically what uh, the outcomes are for sunny days. So I've already taken the liberty to add them into my calculator. I'm going to go to the power of 4 and then I'm going to multiply that by matrix B which is 1 0 0 and I end up with these values here. And so here is my matrix for this scenario here. I know that and the question is asking when what, what will it probably be that it is rainy in four days well, this is sunny, cloudy, rainy. So the probably that's going to be rainy in four days. Well, here's the matrix 0 0.5648 and 0 0.2238 and 0 0.198. And so the probability that it is going to be rainy in four days is right here. Start off sunny cloudy, rainy, because this is the sunny matrix. And so it's going to be rainy, a 19% chance that it is going to be rainy. Okay, and then finally, D says to calculate the long-term probability matrix T to the power N, where N goes to infinity. So we're looking for lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of days. Okay, and if I go to my calculator, I could go over to A and I could raise it to, well, if I do, let's just do four again. We'll look at a couple of them. If I just did four, I got this particular matrix and this was the column that I got. And I see this, but if I then come along and if I do it to the power of, let's say, 
10. 56 turn into 50 and 24, 9, 2, 4, 7. Let's also expand it again. Let's go out to 30 and see what happens. As my n gets larger, as I make my matrices, and now it's so 50.03 turn into 50, 2.49 is 2.49999. Let's go even a little bit bigger. Let's go a to the power of 50. I know I can't go too big or it won't calculate it because it blows up. And a to the power of 50, this is what happens. The matrices starts to tend over and over. They get closer and closer and closer to these probabilities. And so what I know is that over the long haul, these are the values. It's going to be 50% of the days are going to be sunny overall, 25% are going to be cloudy, and 25% are going to be rainy, no matter what. That is the long-term probability of all these particular outcomes. And so if I consider writing this out, we can see that overall, if you consider all the days, we should expect to see 50% for sunny, 25 cloudy, and 25 rainy. And so we can use this idea of a long-term probability matrix where it's to a large power to see the overall trend and be able to know that overall 50% of the days are sunny.